My name is Brian Glick. I'm here with Sensation Taro Higashi. And we are going to go through three issues that people face when they're trying to lock their ashigurami and it's not working. There are a million different things that can go wrong, but the majority of times if you find that your ashigurami is not working, this is especially true if you're seated and your partner's standing, it probably falls into one of these three categories. So the first is a problem with your hips. The second is a problem with your connection with your two legs. And then the last is a problem with where you're connecting your body to your partner's body. Okay, so let's look at these one at a time. We're entering into Ashi, any given Ashigurami entry here. And the first problem that we see people having is the hips not being high enough up off the floor. And you'll see people enter into what looks like the leg position for Ashigurami, but their hips stay on the ground. So the result is a kind of low, um, like anemic Ashigurami, it doesn't have any real power. Okay, it's like kind of down by the knee. Next thing you know, your partner's taking a double post, they push your legs together, they start turning their knee, and now they go from being in a good position for you to bad position for you. Now you're in the bad position, they're crushing you. So that problem gets solved when you get in the habit of driving your hips up and pushing your hips up into your partner's leg like so. If there's a gap, if your hips are low, fix it. Drive your hips up using the pressure from your heel to bridge off of and connect like so. So first point to check, where are your hips? Are they too low or are they up high? All right. Okay, the next issue that people face, number two, is when your knee and your heel are not connected here. So when my knee and, knee and my heel are not connected, this is where this knee starts to drift, partner starts to push it, post it, and step over, and now, before you know it, your good entry for Ashigurami turns into a terrible idea because your partner stuffs the knee, walks around, drops down, and now you've got arm lock and back exposure problems. So we solve that by connecting our heel and our knee together here like this. This forms a closed structure where we can put some pressure. As he goes to push down here, I've got enough connection, enough pressure here so that this knee doesn't move easily. It's not that he can never move it. It's not that you'll never get your leg pushed down, but it should be difficult for your partner and give you enough time to set up counters. Okay, so this is the second point, connect these. The last is making sure that your inside foot is in contact with your partner's outside leg. In the old days, what we used to do was focus on, I think, like a position where both of our legs controlled one of our partner's legs, like so. Okay, and the idea was, it's not a bad idea, because you, just like with the arm lock, Juju Gatami, you have both of your arms hugging one of your partner's arms, usually. You got both of your legs working on one, one, one limb. The idea is the same. However, if your leg is narrow here, then your partner can step freely back and around. And when they do that, now they can start to look to push this leg down, create all sorts of problems, and untangle your legs. So we definitely don't want that. The remedy, and I'll have you rotate just a little bit this way, please. The remedy here is this leg making contact here with our partner's hamstring. So when we connect nice and strong and our partner goes to step back, we stay with them. So as he goes to pivot, take a big pivot step back here. As he pivots, he carries us. He carries us with hips up, heel and knee connected, and then this foot in place. Then from here, you can look to affect your partner's balance with bridges backwards. You can switch off into other things like X and reverse X. So those are the three core problems that people face when they're working the Ashigurami, especially from the bottom because gravity is working against you. You have hip height, you have heel and knee connection, and then you have contact with the second uh, leg. If you can solve those things, you'll be on the way to having a much better Ashigurami and an easier time with your attacks. Hopefully this was helpful. Thank you for being here. Thank you. We'll see you soon.